Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. We just came out from the cantina bar after having a couple of drinks and uh, a few hours before that we actually watched the EA Star Wars panel live here at Star Wars Celebration. So I thought I would do a little uh, recap right now but obviously as you can understand this is not scripted so it's not going to be as in detail as I usually do but I will have plenty more videos when I get home to Sweden next week. So first off, in the Battlefront news we have the Death Star teaser and it was very short but it showed us what I know, I know a lot of people have been waiting for, full-scale space battles around these Star Destroyers as well as a trench run. And something else some of you might have noticed both in the teaser and in the art is that we could actually see a TIE Advanced, which is Darth Vader's ship. And if you look very carefully at this X-Wing, you can see that it has five red markings, which indicates Red 5 as well as R2-D2, which indicates Luke Skywalker. So, maybe we could be seeing two new hero ships in the Death Star DLC, as well as, of course, the other news we got that Bosk and Chewbacca are the two new heroes. And we also got this art, which shows Chewbacca inside an actual hangar, where a huge rebel ship actually landed. Uh, and that's something we haven't really seen in the movies. We can only see the Millennium Falcon landing, but in this art we get to see an actual transport ship in the hangar, which seems to be burning, and below it we can see Chewbacca, as well as a couple of rebels. So that is going to be very interesting to see what we will actually be able to play in-game. Another thing we could see in the post on the website was something about multi-stage battles. We're not exactly sure what this means, but it could be that we actually start off in space and then move indoors. Uh, we don't really have any details on this and I will do further uh, investigation after this video. But for now, I'm gonna guess that we might be able to play in space at first and then go into the Death Star or the other way around. Uh, that should be a very cool element, so hopefully that's something we will be able to see in the Death Star DLC. And if we move even further to the fourth DLC, they actually confirmed that we are getting a Rogue One DLC that is going to be released alongside with the Rogue One movie. And this is fantastic news and I, I know a lot of people, including myself, have speculated about this particular DLC. The only details we got was that it's called Rogue One Scarif, which is one of the planets shown in the movie. And if you remember, this is particular scene from the trailer. It's actually with the walkers and like a beach. It almost looks some, like some sort of tropical paradise. So this is the planet we will be able to play on in the Rogue One DLC. And the two new heroes we will be able to play as is Krennic as well as Jin, who Both who you may have seen in the trailer. But that is all the details we have for now regarding Battlefront. If we move further, we did get a few more details regarding Amy Hennig's game. It wasn't much, but she did leave a couple of hints. And we also got to see two new pictures, I think it was two new pictures, uh, of concept art of the game. In one of the images, we get to see two rebels climbing up a wall and trying to stay hidden from a couple of stormtroopers. It looks like it may be the same planet that we actually got to see the first teaser on. I'm not sure about that, but at least it looks like it. And we also got to see another piece of art where they're jumping between different pillars, a bit like some sort of parkour game with Amy Hennig's past, as well as what she said during this presentation and the art, it looks like it will probably be a single player focused game that will have, it won't just be a shooting game, it will be something with parkour mechanics, jumping and she also mentioned multiple protagonists so it's possible that that's something they will bring along in this game and it won't just be one protagonist that you will be able to play as so hopefully we will be able to play as multiple characters in this game and it won't just be one character that we will follow because as I said we have very little details about this game and she also mentioned that we will be getting more details next year and that from now on it will be a big blackout and we won't get any, probably no more information at all until 2017 as the game is scheduled to be released in 2018. We also got a couple of new details regarding Galaxy of Heroes as well as Star Wars The Old Republic but I'm not too well informed regarding those games so I will skip that in this video and I may cover it in a later video but I'm sure you guys if you know if you're interested in those games you've already got the information from other pages or other YouTube channels but yeah I think that was all the information we got from this panel right now uh, we will obviously have more details coming out the le next couple of months both regarding the Death Star DLC the Rogue One DLC as well as skirmish which will be re released the next Wednesday I will also have more videos coming out the next week detailing all of this information but thank you very much for watching and as always may the force be with you